You guys will have to pardon the really crappy camera angle, but I'm out here with my Ruger LCP2 and I wanted to do a science experiment. I have about 40 or 50 rounds left of Thunderbolt and you know, I wrote Thunder Turd on the box, but this is the last of the last brick of Thunderbolt that I had left. My camera's almost dead, it's getting dark, but I wanna do a science experiment and see if the Thunderbolt will run in the Ruger LCP2. This has stock springs throughout the entire thing. I probably have almost a thousand rounds of ammo through this gun at this point in time with all the stock stuff. Let's see how it runs on Thunderbolt. Inconceivable! Should have thought ahead and brought more magazines. I only brought two magazines with me because I wasn't really intending to do this. I honestly thought Thunderbolt was not going to work at all in this thing, but realistically, I've had really good luck with Thunderbolt. Now, I'm not saying that it's very, very high quality ammo. I'm not saying it's the best in any aspect, but... Before COVID hit, you could buy a brick of 500 rounds of Thunderbolt for $14.99. It used to be the cheapest stuff you could possibly buy. Now it's actually on par with like, it's actually more expensive than a Gila Super Extra. The last time I saw a brick of Thunderbolt, I think it was either 35 bucks or $41 for a brick of Thunderbolt. I don't think it's worth that much, but if it's all you can get, I mean, again, I've had pretty good luck with it. You will get some light loads, you will get some duds, you will get some rounds that are loose in the casing, um, but I just put 20 through it, let's do 20 more. I don't know, say what you want about Thunderbolt. Many people hate it. They say it's really crappy ammo, but I have not had that kind of luck with it. I mean, there is worse stuff out there. I would buy Remington Thunderbolt over Winchester White Box bulk. I did a whole bunch of videos last year with the Winchester White Box. I think I had like a thousand rounds of that stuff left from you know a couple of years prior from like 2020 to 2021 when I bought a bunch of it in the bulk 555 round or 333 round packages. And that stuff was just awful. I mean, that and the uh, the M22, I had terrible, terrible luck with that stuff. Now there's a comparison. The Winchester M22, which is supposed to be optimized for 22 semi-auto rifles, was less reliable in my LCP2 than Thunderbolt, which is the cheapest, crappiest stuff that Remington makes. So I have another 20 rounds here, and then I have five rounds left. Let's put the last 25 rounds through this and see if it still works reliably. Inconceivable! You keep using the horde. I do not think it means what you think it means. And just so you guys know, I'm not fooling you. You look at the head stamp. It's a REM head stamp, and it is a Thunderbolt lead round nose. So what was that? I just put uh, 60 rounds through it, and here's the last fat five that I brought with me. I guess I had more than I thought. But 60 rounds, no issues, all cycled fine, no jams, no stoppages. Here's the last five, and let's see if I can still make these run. Thunder turd. You banned Thunder turd. So when people tell me that Thunderbolt is really, really, really crappy ammo, Maybe crappy ammo. It's not really, really crappy. And most of the experience I've had with it, it's been reliable, even in my LCP2 with all factory springs. This thing has been a great, great handgun. 
I know a lot of people have had issues with theirs. I have not had issues with mine. The best thing about the LCP2 is running a round nose ammo, whether it's a CCI mini mag or uh, in this case, a Thunderbolt or a 36 grain Aguila or a 36 grain Federal, something like that. As long as it has a rounded nose, whether it's a hollow point or not, I've had really good luck with it as long as it's 1,200 feet per second or more in that uh, velocity range. They run really good in this gun, even as you just saw 65 rounds of Thunderbolt. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Another ammo testing video with my Ruger LCP2 and 22 long rifle. And this time again, it was the Thunder Turd.